I want to talk about uh, is that kind of the overall state of crypto. Let's take a look at the chart. Let's take a look at what's going on with Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, and let's do that right now. Okay, so let me pull that chart up here for you real quickly. Uh, let me go here, get the this ready. Do, 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 do. Don't, don't pay attention to what the man behind the curtain's doing, right? Mm -hmm. All right. What what movie was that from? Do you know? Don't pay attention to what the man behind the curtain's doing. Dude, Do I'm, you... I'm terrible with movie references, man. I'm like the worst person to ask. Um, watching the movie. It was um, uh, Yellow Brick Road. Uh, uh, God, the I completely lost it. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, Wizard of Oz. That's Wizard of Oz. They go to see the wizard and, you know, and he's behind the, and there's this curtain and he's like talking this really booming voice. Have you seen the Wizard of Oz? Oh yeah, I have. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, and then they're like, "Yeah, don't pay attention to what the man behind the curtain." Have you yeah. watched the? Uh, have you watched Wizard of Oz, but muted, and then listen to Dark Side of the Moon <laughs> at the same time? No. Let me know down below in the comments if anybody's done that. That's that's a whole other that's a whole other whole other experience. Watch Wizard of Oz, but listen to Dark Side oh, of the man. Moon, and it matches up perfectly. It is one of those weird weird <laughs> things that. I don't know if they meant to do that or if the universe is just yeah, being have to do that. All right. All right. Yeah. So, wow. How did we get there, man? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Randoms knows. Yeah, all right. Here we go. All right. So we are down four and a half percent. Zach, why are, why is crypto down right now? Tell, give us the answer, sir. Well, I mean, we've been trending down already. I mean, since Bitcoin was up over 30,000, we popped over there, I think, one more time. But I think we we were due for a pullback, number one. We were we were overbought a little bit on the RSI. We knew that. And I think what you said earlier is true. I think people are gearing up for another 25 basis point move. And I think there could be a little bit of manip manipulation happening because of that, right? Yeah. We're, we're lessening some prices. I would not be shocked at all if we get some positive sentiment out of j tomorrow to see Bitcoin back over 30K tomorrow. I mean, well, that's no, the he's going to be j Powell's Wednesday. He'll be on the third. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wednesday. Yeah. That's the thing with crypto. I mean, we're sitting here like, oh my gosh, Bitcoin's at 28K. It could go to 26K tonight. And then in two days from now, it could be at 32,000. And we're like, you know, oh yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's actually my two cents. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, well, I mean, we've got, we've got a, a ton of volatility coming into the mix, right? Final thoughts here on this. Uh, we've got Federal Reserve FOMC meeting starts on May 2nd. We don't care about May 2nd. We care about May 3rd. That's when, you know, Papa Powell, Chairman Powell does his thing. 2.30, usually it's 2.30 Eastern, right? 1.30 Central. I think that's, yep. uh, so, and we'll be live on that. Um, but I think they've got that. Um, but yes, I think that the 25 basis points is built into the market, but I think you're seeing the sell off the fear, kind of the fear leading into that. Uh, but then we've got the, um, the European, you know, ECB, um, uh, basically meeting later this week, I think it's Thursday, uh, basically a variation on the federal reserve FOMC meeting that's going to happen. Are they going to raise the rates? Probably, you know, so you've got that over there because they've, they're getting surprised. But ironically, the UK, the UK coming out. Last month, saying that they were ten percent inflation was that was a surprise number, you know. Yeah. So I think that spooked everybody. And then final thought: we have the labor reports coming out, the unemployment uh, and the uh, the the farm, non farm or the farm payroll. I always get that one wrong, but we got the labor reports coming out uh, later this week. So yeah, it's 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 kind of a, a crazy week. Um, mm -hmm. And 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 to me, it, it creates the reason you're seeing this. You see the reason you're seeing this right here. That that number and the reason you're seeing Bitcoin down five percent, Ethereum down four percent is one word. It's uncertainty. Yep. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. You know, people get emotional and they tend to, you know, hang on to what they got. Let me let me sell. Let me get out of here before it gets real ugly. And uh, yeah, I always just have this picture of people like I don't. You've heard me in my videos like where I talk about the. I have this picture. We're on the ocean and there's this and there's a ship and you're on the ship and people think that the ship's on fire and like see any fire what why are you jumping off the ship into the middle of the ocean and there's sharks down there yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's just, I, I think i think one of the things I, that i'm still i think we're always trying to like get better at this but man if you could just become numb to the ebbs and flows of the market and 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 news and press releases and all of these things that are meant to create fear and create uncertainty if you could become numb to that those are the best traders those are usually the people who 
look up 10 years from now and say, yeah, you know, I bought Bitcoin and yeah, this is what happened. Well, okay. That's a really good point. So when you were saying that, my thought was, and you'd have had this conversation. You and I are not traders. I am not a day trader. I'm barely a swing trader. You know, I tend to hold a little bit longer than I probably should. Um, and, but, but I, but what's happened, but here's the interesting thing. I don't really let my emotions get away with me. Um, it, when it comes to a large, probably 95% of my portfolio, my Bitcoin, Ethereum and all that kind of stuff, because I, because I look at it like, okay, I look at I look at a day like this that we just said. I look at a day like this where I think there's a certain contingent of people out there that are freaking out. They're like, "Oh my god, the overall crypto market is down almost 5%, Bitcoin's down 5%, blah 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 blah," and they start running around and they start freaking out. Whereas I look at it and go, "I'm I I own Bitcoin, Cardano, Shiba Inu, and I'm looking at it as a multi-year hold. I don't care that crypto's down 5 points today because I look at it and go You've, you've, you've heard me in videos, ask yourself one question, right? You'd probably know what I'm about to say. Ask yourself one question. Do you believe that that number right there, 1.16 trillion is going to get bigger? Yes or no? Yeah. And if you do, don't stress. Is it going to go to 3 trillion, 4 trillion, 5 trillion? And you're willing to wait and you're okay with the waiting scenario. I don't, I don't let a 5% down day even phase me. What's your two cents around that? I agree with everything. And you made me think of something else I think is really important. I think a lot of people make this mistake. And I made this mistake early on, especially, you know, when I had very, very little capital to put up. I put too much in. Okay. And then you see that go down 20 to 30%. And you're like, oh, let me just get it all out before I lose it all because I got to pay rent this week. Right. right? Or I got to buy groceries or... So we always say it, right? Only invest what you're willing to lose. But like, take that to heart because then what you're putting into Bitcoin or you're putting in once a month to Ethereum, you don't need that money to live. You're less likely to go in there and make an emotional decision. Right. Right. Agreed. So Agreed. I think that's important too. Excellent. All right. Well, let's wrap up there. Uh, Zach, I appreciate you, you uh, spending some time with, with myself and, uh, Guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in and have a great day. View this as an opportunity. This is, of course, not investing advice, but a 5% move down in the market is a 5% discount. Bitcoin's out a 5% discount, um, everything else. Have a plan. If you're going to move in and go buy meme coins and things like that, have a plan, take profits, know what you're getting into and um, you know, just have a long-term view uh, of crypto. So you have any final thoughts, Mr. Humphreys? No, you hit on it. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking it out and uh, have a fantastic week. We'll be doing these uh, a little bit more often, I think, too. So, All right. We'll see you. Take care.